Hello guys, um, recently I published a video on how to tune your Vega cards for R mode with Team Red Miner. And as I stated there, you can see that video in the top right corner. And as I stated there, the it was almost not worth the trouble because the cards were crashing all the time and it was so difficult to tune them. And now, I, as I predicted, they published a new version of Team Red Miner where they fixed this. So they had this reworked smooth power for improved stability and it really works it helps a lot as you can see here this is my rig with um, uh, mostly vega cards some are 64 some are 56 flash to 56 all of them reference cards and uh, these are the very stable settings i don't think i had any uh, shutdown like uh, gpu dead uh, in in uh, in two days i think since i've been testing this uh, it booted two hours ago because i was doing some other stuff but I didn't have any, any Vega card dead. And these are pretty stable settings. So depending on your card, of course, in the Silicon Lottery, you can get lower or higher core voltage, but you can start with the 775 on core voltage and 900 uh, megahertz core, and then use 960 for the memory. I have one card that uh, performs really well that time, like uh, I could save some watts and push it down to 51, 52 mega hash rate, but it's just so stable that I, I don't want to do it. The rest of them are between 51 and 52 usually. Uh, the memory uh, tweaks that I use, I will post in the description, but they usually look something like this. And you have uh, you have my previous videos on the memory tweaks for both Hynix and uh, Samsung memory. You can find it in the top right corner as well, the links to those videos. And all you need to do, if you don't know how to do it, is to go to your flight sheet, uh, edit, choose your uh, miner. Uh, usually I put the latest version, but you can manually select 10.1. And uh, of course use the R mode uh, configuration and just run it. And then you can uh, play with the settings and go lower with the core and say some watts. I usually have my Vegas running between I don't know, 95 and 100 watts. Some are a bit over that. Uh, again, I think I noticed that uh, Vega 56 actually uses less wattage. And also on Polaris cards, I think they're more stable as well, because now the Ethereum is down and the efficiency is the primary concern. Uh, I pushed, uh, put down the hash rate to 31 but uh, at a pretty decent power consumption, 69.70 watts, 812 uh, core. Um, with this memory on uh, Sapphire and MSI is a bit worse, but still still uh, very stable. Uh, very stable, no, no restarts or anything. And here you have uh, another four uh, Vega cards, two are 56, I think, two are 64. Yeah, 256 and 264. You see the difference in the wattage. So this is good news. This is really good. Finally, I mean, at these times we need all the the power save we can we can have and stability. So with this new R mode and this Team Red Miner 10.1, uh, Vega cards are working really good. I uh, I'm happy with them, and uh, it's actually a, a big upgrade compared to previous version of Team Red Miner. And uh, that's it for today, guys. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye-bye.